Today, I'm taking an in-depth look on everything going on with Bowser's airship, the biggest, the baddest, and the best of the latest wave from LEGO Super Mario. My name is Brian Saviano, and although you can't see my face, you can see the glory that is Bowser's airship. And in order to check out just how amazing this set is, I wanted to do an in-depth video going over everything that this set has to offer so you know what you're getting when you get the set on August 1st. And there's really just so much to go over when you're looking at Bowser's airship. Not only is this over 1,000 pieces to it, but it's $100 when it releases on August 1st in the United States. You get everything that you see here except for Mario and Luigi. So this is actually what you're getting with Bowser's Airship, and I have these two here to help demonstrate what you're going to be able to do with the set itself. Mario is available in the Mario Starter Course, Luigi is available in the Luigi Starter Course. So with that being said, this set is unique in that there isn't Bowser actually included in the set, but the boss of the level is the Airship. So, just like you would in New Super Mario Bros. or in Super Mario 3, you're going to be taking down this ship and whatever enemies lurk onto it. And so I won't showcase Mario and Luigi right this second, but I will showcase some of the enemies that you get in the set. The most notable one right now, at least, is Kamek. And Kamek looks a little bit, I want to say weird. Yeah, Kamek does look weird, especially on the side when you have the hinge that's showing right there. It's not necessarily the most accurate looking of the Mario figures. Uh, some of them look more accurate than others, but Kamek, I think, could use a little bit of improvement, especially with how jagged it is on the back. Where Kamek normally is at, the, the hat is a lot larger and covers up more of this section here. So the fact that you don't get that here, it's kind of just plopped on top, not surrounding the entire back portion of the head. It just looks like a weird connection with the hinge. But overall, I like that there's printing on the, the mouth front portion here. Uh, the nostrils, you can see the, the jagged teeth. These one-by-one -one rounded plates look great and could be used for a variety of other mocks as well. So you have Kamek, and Kamek does happen to have a broom that it can basically be on. And the interactive tile for this, by the way, is on the very bottom, in case you didn't see that from before when I've covered this set. But you see that right there. And also, on the very bottom of the broom where Kamek is at, there is another interactive tile for you to scan. So Kamek will act on top of here, fly around, do all sorts of things, and then eventually, yeah, <laughs> fall off. But the broom is using a barrel piece, actually, on the other side, and then some Technic elements to make this uh, a pretty good-looking broom, especially for what Kamek is meant to convey right here. So there you get the idea. Hey, man, this does look really weird. All right, well, moving on from that, uh, another enemy you get in this set is the Pirate Goomba. And although Pirate Goomba isn't actually from a specific Mario game, this is for this set specifically. And what you do is you take the hat and you're going to pop that right off like that, basically, with Mario or Luigi. I'll actually demonstrate with the characters themselves. But, you know, you pop it right there and then boop, boop, and then bam, scan it just like that. This Goomba is just like any other Goomba except for the feet because the feet is a new mold. It's actually like this walking sort of animation compared to the more static look that you're used to with the other LEGO Super Mario sets. So that's pretty awesome. Rocky Wrench is the other character that's hidden in the very front of the ship. So this is how you're going to get access to actually fly the airship with Mario or Luigi. But he's just chilling. He's got a little wrench. <laughs> and he's got feet as well. Not the walking, specially molded piece like we saw with the Goomba, but the interactive tile is on the back of Rocky Wrench there. And the, the top of him is kind of exposed right there, so he's meant to have this kind of hubcap on him, just like in the game, so that's pretty accurate. But he hides up here. You can obviously put Rocky wherever you want to, but we're going to put him off to the side for now. So those are the enemies, and we're going to take a look at one of the really awesome printed tiles in this set, and it's this Bowser 2x2 two two round tile. You actually get a bunch of these in the set because they go all around the sides where the cannons are shooting out right there. But this Bowser plate is fantastic. You could use it for a custom Bowser castle mock or really anything that you want to. These hinges will be right above the cannons across both sides. 
You can see there's a target that is actually printed right here. There's also a lot of the interactive tiles as you've seen like on Rocky Ranch and whatnot, but I'll go over those as I go through the set. Uh, one of the things I'll go with here is this cannon. And although the lighting is a little bit tough, you can see that there is a unique start sticker on the bottom of the cannon. So if I pop this off, you can see it uh, a lot more clearly here, but it does have a cannon on it and it's a different style than what you're used to. So you actually get 90 seconds on the clock when you're starting via this warp pipe here. And I'll show you in a little bit, once we actually test how many coins we get per trial, uh, it makes a unique cannon sound as you move it from left to right. Mario or Luigi like explodes out of the cannon. It's actually really cool. So this is another separate section compared to what you get with the airship. Just want to give you a close up on this Bowser face in the front. It is fantastic. And the colors on it, it's very uh, stylistic in terms of the airship and the overall color scheme. Now, Bowser typically has a very green head, and it's a lot more vibrant, but at least for the airship, it works incredibly well. I'll show you the side of it, too. This can kind of sort of pop off fairly easily. I mean, it, it's tied in there, and it definitely looks like Bowser. And what's awesome is you can see this version of Bowser, uh, his head, and then the back version as well. So it's two different scales, but it's really comparable in terms of what you're getting. Uh, color scheme wise, it's just two different techniques that work incredibly well. You also get to see some details with the lanterns, which this is in a new gray color down here, which is really awesome to have uh, some more accents on the side and the propellers on the very bottom, which do indeed spin around in case you want to take this in the tub. But I wouldn't recommend it because that would probably not be good for the Lego. Uh, you get, you know, these red pieces. It's just a, a lot of good stuff happening all throughout here. And I'll give you a chance to see that what technic workings are going on in the middle that's making this happen. So it's kind of like an accordion sort of a deal where you can compress the whole thing and pop the whole thing right out. You know, basically play a Mario tune with the accordion airship. I don't know. Um, you don't want to be too rough with this, but I mean, I'm doing this with two hands here and it's working out pretty well. You know, um, it, it's pretty structurally sound because of the technic in here. And I like that they added the gold Technic pins here for some accents because they could have done black or, heaven forbid, blue or red. But they actually made it work with the overall color scheme of the airship. So that's a nice little detail that is aesthetically pleasing. And just for the sake of showing the structural integrity of this thing, I can barely fit it in the frame. But you can see it's bowing quite significantly here. So although it is really strong because of the Technic, it's not 100% of the way there. So you definitely want to place this on a table when you're playing with it, use two hands if you want to fly it around in this mode here, because having all of the, the, the holding of the ship be right here, that just doesn't look healthy. It doesn't look good at all. So I would not recommend you do that, but I just wanted to show you for the sake of demonstration, of course. All right, so now getting into the actual meat and potatoes, you're noticing a lot of action going on here, and we'll start with the middle because it's the most obvious. This whole section can come right off. Uh, it features a golden Bowser hand, and I guess Mario is tired, so we're going to make sure he's wide awake here. But the golden Bowser hand is easily destructible if you happen to get the broom onto this section and collide it right there. So let's pretend we're going through the level because doing this in an actual level is going to be really difficult. So you defeat Kamek, you do all the things, and you go right here. And you hear that sound effect. And so you're getting more coins as you're doing the sound effect. You're supposed to put Mario on top of this section here and spin this whole mechanism around on a table like this. And you get more coins and you're supposed to collide the broom with the, the target right here and then it explodes. And so this actually acts as the middle section of the airship boss. And after you take down the hand, you see the uniquely applied sticker. That is a, a giant hand that you can see right there. Take Mario and stop it as many times as necessary to destroy the middle section of the airship. So there's a good opportunity to get a lot of coins here, but this is kind of uh, difficult to pull off especially under the time constraints, really any time constraint based on how everything is set up here. So that's section number one. That is the semi-difficult portion of the ship. But if we end up, you know, collapsing things a little bit here, which the ship, by the way, you can take from this state right here and condense the whole thing 
like this. So it, it gets a little bit difficult if the hand is in the way here, but if you take the hand entirely out, it's actually pretty easy to rotate between the two different sections of Bowser's airship. And we're gonna take a, a deeper look at the ship itself in just a second here. But you take Luigi, plop him down on that plank, and the whole middle mast is gonna come apart, and that will reveal another interactive tile at the very bottom of the mast. And this is different from the hand, and it's different from the other interactive tile at the very back. So by scanning this with Luigi, you'll see that it takes uh, kind of a decent amount of hits here. Yeah, just to get all the coins that you need to in order to take down Bowser's airship. And as you make your way toward the back of the airship, you'll see that there is a POW block, and that's where Rocky Wrench will lie. So you take the POW block, and I mean, you can move this if you want to, but if I take this and scan it, it's gonna, well, it's actually pretty hard to do. So let me move this stuff out of the way. Make this a bit more extended. You're supposed to have this extended for the play portion of the set, just so you know. But you take Luigi, you scan the POW section here, and that's gonna eliminate whatever enemies are in the vicinity. I'm just gonna move all these. See how things are kind of falling apart here? It's intentional in that design, but you gotta be conscious of that when you're trying to play with this stuff. So, you know, you scan, Rocky here, you defeat him. Oh yeah, he's all defeated, very nice. And then you can actually fly the airship by putting Luigi into here. Uh, you'll see the, the, sh the steering wheel up here. And I don't know what you do, but he's just kind of there. You can move the ship, I guess. Like you fly it around, you're like, oh, let's go. You know, you fly and he's like, whoa, this is pretty intense. And he can, I guess, pop out of the airship with an exploding sound. So I don't know how many coins that'll net you in gameplay, but that is another interactive tile uh, located at the very bottom here. This one's gonna be tough to show you. Yeah, with the lighting, it's a little bit. Oh, the whole front back section just came right off. <laughs> well, <laughs> All right, well, you know, I have been playing with this a lot, so these sets are meant for intense play, so that kind of makes sense. But there's your tile there. The last boss section of the airship is actually right where uh, the Rocky Wrench or the Pirate Goomba is. So there's a little lever right here. You pop that lever out, and by doing that, you're going to see the other Bowser head at the very back. It's going to pop right out, and that's going to expose the last of the interactive play tiles here. So you're going to scan this as many times as necessary to take out the very back of the ship. It actually takes a, a pretty solid amount, more so than I think actual Bowser when you're defeating him in Bowser's castle. And that's how you're going to get rid of uh, Bowser's airship. And then once I actually play the level, I'm going to see how many coins you get when you're defeating the airship to see if this is even worth it if you're trying to get your ultimate high score in the LEGO Super Mario play system. All right, so now the moment of truth. Can I defeat Bowser's airship in the given amount of time? I think I can, but I'm gonna be using the cannon pipe that comes with the set, as well as using the end goal that comes in the Luigi starter course because it doesn't come with the airship. I have 90 seconds to take down the airship. I'm only gonna be using Luigi because doing two player is rather difficult when you just have one person with you. So can one person take down the airship? I'm going to try my best, and I'll let you know what my results are.
61 coins? That doesn't seem like a lot. What do you mean, 61? I just took down Bowser's airship, dude, really? All right. The thing with this set though, when you're playing with it, you're gonna be decimating this whole thing a lot because there's so much going on with it and you're kind of just scattered with everything going on. So like, you know, play with it as you intend to, but make sure you make your courses dynamic. And if you have the 30 second timer to add to it, you know, you can get more coins that way. But like, yeah, 60, whatever it was, 50, uh, that is way too little for like what you get for this set. And I, I, did, I did everything on here. I scanned every single tile. I did everything in a, a proper amount of time. Um, I don't have the application uh, connected because I'm actually using a beta version of it and it isn't quite uh, functional the way that it should be in the final release. So in terms of the play functionality, I, I think you can really do something amazing with the two player, but for right now with one player, yeah, you're not gonna earn the most coins that way. You're mostly gonna buy this set because of how amazing it looks, which is exactly why I love this set. Hopefully you love it too. And maybe this video has taught you a little bit more about Bowser's Airship and everything that's awesome about it. Hopefully you can get your hands on it on August 1st, along with all the other Lego Mario sets that release, including the Luigi starter course. So thank you very much for taking a look at an in-depth version of uh, Bowser's Airship. I'm going to spin these propellers as I wish you an incredibly awesome day. And Matt Kamek is down. Keep on being awesome, and I'll see you again for more LEGO Super Luigi goodness, all right? Bye.